The best laid plans of mice, men and royalty, nature can upset when she's so inclined. The royal barge brought the Queen and Duke to a wharf a mile away from the intended landing place. Heavy seas dictated the change to the sheltered side of the harbour, and even there it was obvious that it must have been a rough trip from Britannia to the shore. They said the Queen hadn't relished the ordeal by barge, but she put a brave face on it as she and Prince Philip were welcomed. It made an informal beginning of the royal visit to Wellington. Among those who greeted Her Majesty was the Prime Minister of New Zealand, Mr Holyoke. With the least possible delay, the royal party were driven to Wellington Town Hall. Naturally, there was a holiday air in the capital. One of the earliest items on the royal schedule was the visit to Athletic Park, where 10,000 children had the day of their young lives. Everywhere on the tour, the young people had the chance to see the Queen at close quarters. On view was the Queen's personal standard for the tour. After the bouquet, the children took over the entertainment. The royal occasion it might be, but everybody wanted to get into the act. Before Rover called it a day, he nearly stole the picture. At Fraser Park, it was the turn of sheep to get into the act. Here, the Queen saw the Golden Shears competition. The six shearers of international reputation displayed their astonishing skills. They were the finalists in last year's Open Championship, and each man had to shear ten sheep. In a matter of minutes, each bewildered animal knew it wore skin next to the wool. The contest wasn't decided by time only. The completed fleeces had to be as nearly perfect as possible. These chaps are so good they can really do it blindfold. At these competitions, everybody praises the shearers. Nobody seems to give a thought to the poor sheep. On this rather chilly day, it was no fun being a nudist. The place of wool in smart wear for both sexes was displayed at a fashion show attended by the Queen and Prince Philip. It was organised by the New Zealand Wool Board. As the Dominion exports wool to the value of £30 million to Britain alone, you can understand the importance of the industry. The first prize was won for an off-white sheath dress with fur-trimmed three-quarter length coat. The Queen presented the winning award. Just to remind everybody where the stuff comes from, were two fugitives that escaped unshorn from that shearing contest. Her Majesty opened a special session of the New Zealand Parliament, a ceremony which emphasised how closely the forms of government in the Dominion follow the Westminster model. New Zealand's affection for the sovereign and British democratic ideals finds expression in this parliament. In many ways, the observances of the royal opening resembled those in London. Her Majesty expressed confidence in the ability of the whole Commonwealth to adapt itself to the requirements of a multiracial partnership. In that respect, New Zealand sets an example to the world. 